Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and time and again I have been seeing that whatever phones we use, we flash a lot of custom ROMs but more or less at times we do feel the need of going back to a stock ROM, relocking the bootloader and getting that complete fresh stock experience again. So that is what I felt with the Pocophone F1 as well not really but i'm doing it for you guys so that if one of you want to go back to complete stock relock the bootloader and maybe you know send the device back for service to xiaomi or maybe give it to a family friend or sell it out on olx like i do and stuff like that well you can certainly go ahead and do that without any disadvantage apart from losing all your data which you can always back up at the same time what we are also going to look at in this particular video is how to downgrade your poco phone from android 9 pi to the stable official Android 8.1 which could be very useful to some of you because it is for me uh, so with the bike that I have the KTM Duke 390 the dash doesn't work that well with Android 9 Pi Bluetooth I do downgrade it to 8.1 officially and stuff like that but you will have your reasons to flash it or not and you can always use the latest stable ROM or the latest beta ROM to flash using this particular method so in today's video we are going to revert the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 to complete stock and relock the bootloader for that stock experience but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time we have a giveaway going on the description has a link to the giveaway which will allow you to stand a chance to win the zenfone max m2 so go ahead and participate there as well at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash Let's begin. Hey guys welcome to another video and as you saw in the intro well today's video is a little important because uh, you know I suggest flashing a lot of custom ROMs and stuff and that is what this channel is all about but time and again you will feel the need of going back to complete stock locking the bootloader and doing a lot of things so that is what we are going to do today and I'm going to downgrade actually the Pocophone F1 to Android 8.1 without any side effects the only side effect I feel would be everything will be wiped out including internal storage so before you do anything of this sort please back up back up back up and make sure everything is taken care of have at least a minimum of 50% battery things that you will need in this particular video well of course a Pocophone F1 with sufficient battery a USB type C cable and a computer with good internet connection because you will have to download that file as well for now the phone is ready as it is all you need to do is first Power the phone off and boot it into fast boot mode. There you have it. And once it is booted up in fast boot mode, you just have to connect the phone using the USB cable to the computer. So we will connect the USB type C here and this end of course will go to the computer and then the remaining things we will do that on the computer itself. All right guys, so the first thing to do is ensure that your phone is connected and detected properly by the PC in fast boot mode. To do that, we will go to device manager. And as you can see over here, Android bootloader interface. So the phone is connected just fine. At the same time, you will need the Xiaomi flash tool and the stable ROM or developer ROM, the fast boot version, whichever you want to go ahead and flash. As you can see, I'm downloading the latest one. But right now what I'm doing is I'm downgrading my Pocophone F1 from Android 9 Pi to Android 8.1 because I want to use it on 8.1 and stuff like that. Now this procedure will allow us to downgrade lock the bootloader and revert it to complete stock your phone will be as good as brand new you can choose to revert it to the latest table or developer it is completely safe but it's just that you will lose all the data in the internal storage so considering your phone is detected properly and you have my flash tool installed the next thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and extract the files from the zip so this is what we will be flashing today so double click on the fast boot file 
and if you see something like this you would have to double click as well because at times most of the time the Xiaomi firmwares or fast boot files are zipped twice so we will need to extract it once within WinRAR and then extract it again so I'm going to include the link for fast boot stable ROM fast boot beta ROM Xiaomi flash tool the drivers that's the fast boot drivers at the same time I will include the free version of WinRAR as well so you need to have all these files ready and then you can go ahead and do this now, as you can see we unzipped it once and now we can see a folder so in that case we are good to go so what you need to do now is highlight this part and select extract to and I usually extract it to the root of C drive so that there are no spaces and stuff like that in between so wait for the extraction to complete and once it is completely extracted is when we will proceed now remember while we are doing all this ensure that the phone is connected to the computer in fast boot mode it is detected as an Android bootloader interface and only then go to flash to load the file and then flash it because that is when it will work and I would request you to you know directly extract it in C drive to avoid any errors if you extract it in a folder which has space or something like that in the name of the folder then you might not be able to successfully flash so please do exactly as it is being shown in this particular video okay so the extraction is complete now we will close this and double click on flash tool allow and select the file so we extracted it in C drive as you remember so this is the one just select this folder don't select any other folders inside and hit OK so it's loaded now while your phone is connected to the computer in fast boot mode and detected as a fast boot bootloader interface hit refresh and you can see the device ID is visible now over here at the bottom you need to select this clean all and lock now what this will do is this will wipe everything and lock your phone's bootloader save user data I don't recommend it because it might give you a boot loop and you can also select clean all it will just wipe everything and flash a clean version of the stable or developer ROM the fast boot image your bootloader will remain unlocked for now as we are looking at reverting back to complete stock and locking the bootloader I will do a clean all and lock so let's hit flash now although it shows finished total time this that whatever it is till the time it shows it shows complete do not touch or disconnect the phone otherwise you might break your phone and this process can take up to 10 minutes unless you get a failed or any particular error over here just wait for it to flash completely usually for me it, it flashes within five minutes but it depends on a lot of factors like the USB speed what type of computer you're using and the transfer speed and stuff so please wait patiently while the flash is complete all right so as I'm looking at the phone the phone has started to reboot so it will automatically reboot okay now as you can see the phone has been successfully downgraded and also restored to complete stock let me quickly skip through the setup process over here okay now as you can already see the Android version has been downgraded because it is an old version still let's go to about and as you can see over here it is Android version Android 8.1 Oreo and it is successfully downgraded let me also show you the lock status of the bootloader status on this phone so go to additional settings we go to developer options my unlock status agree the device is locked so there you have it just by following some simple steps you have completely restored your phone to complete stock the poker phone and the bootloader is relocked as well without any traces of it ever being unlocked at the same time you can do this procedure that I followed it's just a different file that you use to also revert back to Android 8.1 in case you like it better than Android 9 Pi so this was a very very easy process and uh, if you like the video you guys please go ahead and like share and subscribe until the next one this is Kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye